Well, shall we continue? Why walk? Mobility skills are perfect for moving around a battlefield. Some will allow your heroes to even avoid environmental hazards and spend less AP. Who doesn't like spending um, AP? Alright, let's see, we got a campfire. At the expense of one campfire kit, all party members receive one uh, plus four body points and plus one mill power point and enjoy some nice campfire banter. However, always be prepared for an ambush. Well, we already had an ambush, so that's, you know, whatever. I made a lot of time we spent some pirate now, so how about we do that? So I got this guy the um, counterattack when he gets attacked. Or he has like a taunt ability, yes he does. A scornful insult to provoke foes into losing their temper and their strategy, so that's something I want to is to get an Ufer, so basically you can like you know tank for our party and actually you know do the tank. And he's got some other strikes that basically hit, like, you know, more people and stuff. Well, let's just get ourselves taunt. That'll make Ufir here a little bit more, like, you know, useful in battle. Alright, here's Merlin. Let's see what skill, um, abilities this guy has access to. So, there's teleport. It's as simple as displant reaction. So, there's like, you know, ability to like, you know, run around wherever you want to, I guess. There's Kinect Blast. An unrelenting force unleashed from the mine basically just lets him knock back targets. <clears throat> and they take free BP damage when they're, you know, hip, um, you know, hip in object and stuff, I guess. Firewall. They shall not pass, but if they do, they'll get serious burns. So, you know, burn people. Pretty obvious, obvious. Phantasm. Just because it's fake doesn't mean it's not real. Cast a de decoy duplicate image with one buy point. Lasts until the end of the combat. Alright, he's got some cool abilities, but eh, I'm not going to worry about Merlin too much, I don't think. Here's Dwayne. There's his Frost ability, so we've already got Frost. Pierce. Two for the price of one. Strike up a two character object in a straight line, so that sounds useful, but it's probably not. Tug. Uh, a pull of a lance that hauls the target closer. Basically, you know, lets him get you know closer to be attacked. Charge. Bonus movements followed by a melee attack, striking up to two characters in a straight line. So basically he like charges people. Uh, this is actually a pretty useful ability for him to have, I think, so let's get that. There's Disarm, then there's Stroke. So it looks like, like the abilities are basically, they're playing like, you know, we have like these, like, you know, weaker 20, like, renowned abilities, and then we have, like, you know, passive abilities, and then, you know, the upper tier abilities. That's cool. But let's just move on to the next one, so there's Faye. So, Faye's got access to Dust. Doesn't actually hurt them much, but it might blind them for, um, from a safe distance. Plus, it's annoying as hell. So, let's use their attack and defense. That's pretty good. We've got Stealth. Become one of the Shadows. Boost silently make the use of the elements of surprise. Um, become invisible to enemies and able to pass through them last three rounds. So, basically, let's let you like get better advantage on people. Dodge if attack. In and out like a heartbeat. Catch me if you can. Melee attack followed by retreat, allowing movement through allies, so... to basically get away from people he needs to. And then there's the Cleric. Sacred Ground. A small patch of land is enchanted to heal anyone standing on it. That's actually pretty useful. I guess, but... Eh, probably not. Plus armor. The warrior shall be safeguarded um, by terror and protected from the evil eye. So, basically more defense for, you know, enemies or allies. Holy Word, we should... Always share the which we do not um, need. Here's any effective willpower do not earn willpower points for duration of the round. So basically, get some willpower. Love thy neighbor. Felix and allies in close proximity are um, more resistant. Uh, Ferment. Terra's word has lasting presence. And then we got penance. So it seems like it's only like real healing ability. It's this one right here, which is kind of annoying. 
<clears throat> I was hoping I had like, you know, more heal abilities, but I just got like this one over here, I guess. Oh well, we'll pick up this. And maybe we'll get her ability of like, you know, something. She's got throwing knife, which is actually uh, a ranged attack, which is interesting, but... Now let's get dust. Alright, well... My heroes have basically been, like, you know... Leveled up. Let's actually go redisguise Fa Blurp here, I guess. The Faithful Priest of Felix. It is not my place to judge, my child. Only our mother Terra may. Holy is her name. I merely show the error of your ways. To all appearances, Felix is kind, light-spirited, humorous, humorous devotee of Goddess Terra. On the inside, however, he's quick to judge and somewhat cowardly zealot. Once a rich merchant, he lost everything and was driven to brink of death. After his life was saved by Terra when the goddess sent him a vision, she could not be denied. Now he roams the land, saving poor lost souls similar to his former self, and spreads her truth, which is the only one that matters. For all that matters, he might wish well, but his, his spirit of luscious just seem to go on and on. Well, let's get going, shall we? Alright, so, Warkworth Keep. This militarily seeming fort is strategically located a short distance from Bamber Fortress. Its famous Grand Stair st Tower is said to be impenetrable. There doesn't seem any vendors here, that's fine, so Dust Siege. Ufer and his cohort head for Warkworth Keep to investigate the Lord Karen's whereabouts. And apparently got, you know, an optional use of this guy's taunt, so that's the thing. Alright, so Lord Karen and I have shared some bloody battles. He will surely listen to me, so he's recommended he comes. That's good. You got him, like, you know, buffed and all that. Um, we'll bring you along. And we'll bring you and... Eh, I think we'll bring our own phase as well. Ready! Alright, so... Lord Caden had left York, and according to Felix, Warkworth Keep was his most probable location. Aside from being a strategic location not far from Bamberg Fortress, it was well known that the Lord spent a curious amount of time there. However, as Ufer and his allies approached the stronghold, the fierce um, snowstorm swept in, and fine shelter became a priority. So, Death Siege. By the gods, the books never said in November was, was this cold. By the goddess. Look at this. I spent a week a week in jail and the world goes to shit. Did the guards abandon their post here too? Because of the weather, or could it be the curse? Enough! If the storm resumes to yield, refuse to yield, we will take refuge here, otherwise we press on. Alright, well, let's go up here, I guess. You found lore, a broken cart. It appears to have been pillaged. This cart is a type once used to ferry goods throughout the citadel. Among the shard of wood and bent iron lie some rushed metal tools and broken cutlery. No silver, though. Damn, someone already took all the good stuff. This isn't a leisure trip. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> People are dying out there, and we stop for silverware? I ain't had the luxury of growing up in the castle like you pretty boys, so don't you fucking judge me. I love the language of this game. It's realistic. Who knew? Oh, there's a stave. I'll be useful for you-know-who. Oh, 
Oh, what's up here? Nothing. There's dead arches on the battlements. This isn't only the wearer's doing. I sense a battlefield. Stay alert. Do you hear that? Hands on the hilts. These guys ain't bit the dust from catching cold. No good. Bloody class won't budge without a key, and I'm no lockpicker. Huh. Well, that's your job. Alright, there's something for the thief, the sorcerer, the priest. I think I might put that on the priest, since he's a liable target for being hit. There we go. A little bit more HP for you, buddy. You know, I kind of wish you could use, like, your abilities out of combat. I sense a battle over there. You found a ledger book. The records of Fort Wentworth. Most of its pages have fallen out or been claimed by bookworms. What remains suggests an old ledger used by generations of quartermasters to record the supplies and arms moving in and out of the citadel. The last few pages tell an interesting story. There was a great influx of provisions in the last months, but no goods left the citadel. On the contrary, a note at the bottom of the last page cites a request sent to Lord Cadern for more equipment and weapons. They are clearly preparing for the worst. A strategic barricade to protect the region and everyone inside? But from what? Could Wessex have invaded Northumbria as well as Mercia? But there are no signs of military invasion elsewhere. Whatever their effect, efforts, it is obvious their plan failed miserably. A little bit more renown. Hmm. Well, I figured it'd be a battlefield, but... Oh look! Survivors! Gah! The souls of the suffering have risen! Holy shite! This is messed up! Stand back! These aren't ordinary men! Ready your weapons! Zombies! Alright, so... Um, Citronaceous Jar. An ancient stasis liquid capable of setting the shrines on fire, inflicting burn on tux for more than two rounds. Let's see what we got here. The Afflicted. Human Husk. These unnatural things look frail, but it's best not to test their, their punch. Keep your distance. I'm here to poison what these guys have. So this guy has, like, you know, a Belch type ability. Tainted Rex. Probably don't want to get hit by that, so I'll watch out for it, I guess. Luckily, they look to be slow. And they take 3 AP. To attack, so that's good. Let's get you here. Um, I thought that'd be more useful, but wasn't, I guess, so well. Let's get here. Go like that. Hmm. Heal yourself. Let's get you over here. Huh. 
This is where stealth would be good, because I can send her up here and attack from the back right away, but oh well. Let's get you here. And you can go right there. And we get some bonus action points. It might have been better to like to actually like, you know, charge right in, but oh well. Okay, that guy's getting slow, that's nice. Yeah, I probably should push this barrel over here and hit these guys. That guy's right on top of me. Okay, let's see here. Oh well, yeah, purse for women useful right here. Who knew? Um, let's have you straight start striking, I guess. Hmm. hmm. I guys have five HP. These guys have four. I probably want to take this guy down real fast, so. Overkill! He's out of the way. Well, that's nice. Let's get you up here, smack him. Let's get you right there. Get him out of the way, more or less. Let's get you over here. Overkill! Now these guys probably don't have willpower because they're undead a bet. So that's probably a thing for them. Let's see here. Overkill! At least they're dying quickly. Let's get you over here. <laughs> I'm gonna get you over here. Give him a solid push. Alright, he went that way for some reason. Interesting. I'll move you right here, and face this way. That slow is actually helping out a little bit over there, which is nice. You know, for some reason these guys aren't, you know, very, very smart for some reason. But I guess that's to be expected, they are zombies. Hmm. One hit. Overkill! There goes that one. Let's get you over here. Face this way. Oh, you missed. That's a bad block, but I'll move here. Let's get you right here. Overkill him. Did this guy not get his taunt? I thought I did give him a taunt, but oh well. At this point, it's gonna let him like just stand right there to Take beatings, I guess. He's got the defense for it. Yeah. 
Ow. This would be very good where it has nice to have an AO attack, but I don't have one of those yet, so oh well. Hit this guy. I can heal up someone else, I guess, so heal up her. In a moment. That's a bad miss, so well. Oh, they do have willpower, I guess. I need to get him out of here, so... Get over here. We're gonna try doing this and see what it does. Good, it does burn him. Let's overwatch. He's gonna overwatch for us. Heal up Gwen. And you can overwatch too, I guess. You die from flames. <clears throat> oh, he blocked that one. But not that one. Not enough points for an overwatch strike, so... Oh, he missed. That's nice. Oh, he went berserk. So there's something about willpower, I guess. Maybe they can go berserk. Oh, he berserked his friend. Oh, by the gods, all these poor people. We had to do it. They were as good as dead, right? It is a nice duty to alleviate pain. We grant them relief. Curses shall ever fall upon the unholy. Hmm, but these poor souls, what was their sin? Well, let's pick up some stuff, I guess. Take all. Huh. Gold! Mm -hmm. Loot! You know, I wonder if, like, you know, these pips mean their willpower right here. I'm not really sure. You should probably read what this is all about. So that's body, that's attack, that's defense, that's willpower. That's action points, that's efficiency, that's a resistance, and then that's critical chance. So you have very low willpower to thief, but... <clears throat> the other ones are, you know, somewhat decent. This was a fierce battle. They stood their ground, but were trapped from every direction. The creatures barged in, then a second wave hit from behind. They never stood a chance. It must have been some battle. History should remember the bravery of these men. May the goddess guide the courageous souls.
All right, well. Cater and Silver Pendant. A pen depicting Northumbria's whatever. Well, I picked up something, but it was too quick for me to read it, so I guess you'll have to pause to see what that's all about. And, I, yeah, I don't seem to have, like, you know, his things on the quick bar here, so I wonder if I actually have, have to equip their skills to use them. Or is this hit? You found lore. Soldier's corpse. Seems to be a high-ranking warrior. Surrounded by a ring of corpses, this man cruelly fought to the very end. The creature scratched his breastplate and most of the skin of his face. But a chain remains around his neck. A silver pen with a clear her 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 heraldic symbol. Lord Cairn's crest. He outlived his killers a short while, for in his sith dead fingers is a piece of parchment that meant much to him. It bears a short hasty message. To my master at arms, you are blood of my blood. Never let anyone say otherwise. All right, up we go. By the God, it's an actual survivor. Is he by himself here, bare skinned? An air. Oh look, it's a Celtic Barbarian. <laughs> Alright, bear traps. Many contraptions have been devised for hunting, but few are as timeless as the bear trap. Careful not to step on it. Thankfully, it only bites once. Alright, so we got ourselves the Berserker here. Fergus. Unfortunately, running with him is not very much of an option at the moment, so... I guess we're going to charge up this way with this guy. Let's go right here. Maybe I can lure him into a bear trap. How about you go right here? Whoops, don't want to end my turn. I don't think this guy can do much, but who knows? Let's get you right here. You can overwatch this way. We'll get you up here as well, I guess. And you can overwatch as well. There we go. Oops, I forgot my barbarian there. He's gonna take some hits, I guess. You got hit by a bear prep, that's good. Ow. You're gonna go up to my monk because you can. This might actually be a tough battle, who knew? Alright, let's see here. You gotta heal up him. That'll help him out a little bit. Now what have you got for abilities? You've got hack. That's just a one tile thing. Slam kick. No damage but it does massive knockback and charge. This lets them basically charge against up to people. I guess if I want to charge away, I can do that. 
Oui Oh, I guess we can't use that there because, like, you know, someone in the way. So, let's see here. It might make sense to get this guy to run away, so... Maybe we'll do that. So, you're gonna do this for now. Oh, he blocked. Nice trickle to him. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> Let's get you to start stabbing. Uh, kill this guy. <laughs> Down he goes. That's a block, unfortunately. Down he goes. <laughs> yeah, let's get this guy just to run away for now, I think. Go here! And face this way. You can come up to... here? <laughs> and you're just gonna move away. Face that way. I think I want you to go this way, so I'll go up here. Oh, they're flanking if they can, I guess. And I like that priest for some re damn reason. Probably because he's a healer, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's kill this guy. Oh, I killed him. With a kick. Ah, let's see here. Overkill! That's done. Hmm. Let's see what I can do with these guys first, I guess, so... Go here. Hit this guy in the back. Or take loot first. Down. Nice big hit to him. The problem with the monk is that he's really in harm's way of, like, everything at this point, so... Go here. Let's start smacking this guy, I guess. We blocked that, that's unfortunate. You're gonna face that way, then. Hmm. One hit to him. Down he goes. You can face that way. Let's have you go here and just face this way. And...
Hmm. Go here, I think, and it's faced that way. Ouch! Nice block. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, you need to get back into the fight, so... Go here and back attack. Down he goes. You go here. Kill it. That's done. Get over here, I guess. Down he goes. Huh. Let's get you over here. Huh. Take a smack. One hit. And let's move over here. That's perfect for you right there. We're just gonna push them into each other, apparently. And you can just move over here and we'll wait for him to come to us. Whoops! Did not mean to do it like that, but oh well. Perfect! He wasted all his movements. Alright! And if you're afraid, the Fergus is mighty, thankful for this experience. Glad to hear, but this snowstorm is too severe. Let's talk inside. Tis not but a wee squall. We can wait in outdoors. So yeah, this guy's definitely Scottish. Or Pictish, I guess, in this case. Pretty sure Pics would be over here by now. So much loot! You found lore! Only a few words remain readable. The rest of the ink has been developed or smudged by the severe weather. Reasonably, we seek only understanding. Has come to our attention terrible rumors. We would not want these to spread, lords of your, of your realm. Late night, you, your younger squire, came to the wrong conclusion. See to our terms seems only just. Duke of Wessex. So almost frozen, bearing the official seal of Wessex. So this was from Wessex. Do 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 do. I probably could burn some zombies, but oh well. Uh, can these guys run into bear traps while they're um, in pass mode like this? I wonder. That'd be very bad. There we go, let's wash that off. Oh. Well, you can run into him, you know, that way. Oh, well, I'll have to heal up my guys now at this point, I guess, but whatever. Alright, a fierce snowstorm approaches, but not as fierce as the Barbarian Fergus. Hopefully he will be of aid of marching north and finding Lord Catern. Alright. Proceed. <clears throat> Ufir. Let us shelter here until the storm yields. I'm Ufir, Knight Commander of Mercia. Well met, Nish Ufir. I am Fergus, the one yet unnamed. 
on a pilgrimage of strength. And I'm the Gwen, the one yet unfed on a quest for a hot campfire. Yeah, we souvenirs are peculiar folk. You got a beard and compare a scrawl to a storm. Souvenirs, you try to tell us you're actually from the beyond? The beyond is how the folk of Britannia refer to your homeland, Fergus. Beyond the horizons, you see. Ah, it's peculiar indeed. Fergus, do you know what happened to these people? We reached the highlands of a plague capable of trapping souls between life and death. Whispers and a plot intent on ravaging the land. I reckon this be the perfect opportunity. Perfect what, big feller? To earn my name. To emerge as the unseen thing. You will not understand, Sassinex. Tell us, my well-informed friend, how you came by this knowledge. A we annoying outsider visited our elders, said some duke would have to reward us. All I saw was a merc banner with a strange, strange brand. One of good stations? But all the way into the beyond? Scotian, our goals are the same. We too are on a pilgrimage of sorts. Indeed, we seek the re one responsible for this plague. We could use your might. Tell that ye shall nay have, net elder. It will be glorious. A hot head knight, a crazy vagrant, and now this guy, as mad as Ma's old t tales of the circus. All right, well, we survived. And it'll be in our campfire quest coming up, but before we do that, let's just jump into, like, you know, this right here. So basically, you only have, like, you know, select the skills. Yeah, you have to actually select the skills in order to, like, use them. Good to know. All right, well, um, you need to have your skills selected, so let's get charged in here. And we'll get this in here. And we'll get this in here. That'll make things a little bit better for me. And here's Fergus. A mighty warrior of high attack and destructive skills. This class is four fist defense and in favor of decimating several enemies. Well, we got ourselves a nice little attack for him, so we'll give him that. And... I gotta remember that Merlin has access to new staves, so we'll give him access to this. I need to sell some stuff if I can. Wonder if I can, where I can do that. You know, it has quite a bit of defense for someone with, like, no, low defense, but whatever. Hmm. This is cool, but I'm probably going to sell it to go unlock it. And let's just move us like this. Blacksmith and a Lancer can use this. But no one else. Let's read this guy's backstory, shall we? Fergus, the fearless barbarian. Fergus will have his name. I will be worthy of my kin. Hailing from the beyond, a realm outside of Britannia, Fergus is a fearsome warrior of brutal strength and a strange accent. On a pilgrimage to prove his valor in order to become the next leader of his tribe, he is a stoic and cold brand of the culture of unverged of radical change. His eyes glimmer when he speaks of restoring his answers ancient rite of passage. Now he travels the world seeking challenges and tempting fates. Thank the gods, it seems over his troubles might just be the, opp the opportunity for his needs. A chance to recognize the clan chief by bringing back tales of heroic deeds and vicious battles we shall see. Alright, so that's what he's all about. He's got enough abilities on him right now, so let's look at some of the other ER abilities he makes you get. So, ultimate defense. Um, command. And bravery. So that's cool, but let's see what else we got. Mind trick forces the target enemy to attack their own allies. Duration free rounds. Fireball. I saw obviously a you know nice spell to cast. Let's see here. Uh, 
That's probably a very, like, you know, damaging cell that could possibly target other people, so I have to be very careful of that. I may want to get Fireball. Or Mind Trick. Hmm. This is, seems like an interesting way to, like, you know, spin out people. Let's get this going. You know, all my guys are injured at this point, so I'm tempted to use a campfire to, like, heal them up. Maybe we'll do that. Now, see what happens when I do. Hmm. Now here's a question, can I go back on this, like, you know, journey? No. So, basically, you can only like, proceed forward, you can't go backwards. That's something to watch out for. And I'll have to sell my damn stuff in the next town when I get to it, I guess. Alright, well that's basically good enough for now. We'll basically do some more intermediate stuff on the way next time, but for now... Let's call it quits here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and take care.